Colorado quarterback Shador Sanders film breakdown. I was going to do a big film breakdown, talk about the strengths and the great areas of Shador, then talk about some areas of, of improvement and kind of just showcase some film. And maybe I'll still do that at some point. But when I was watching the film against TCU. I decided, you know what, let's look at TCU and look at what the offense did really well on and, and what they did good on, what they executed on and, you know, what was called and what was done well by the players and and then i was like let's look at ucla and look at the differences right let's see what went well against tcu and then what didn't go well against ucla so the first half of this film breakdown yes it's all shador and it's catered to shador but the first half of this film breakdown is the tcu game we're gonna look at the offense and what shador did well uh, against tcu you saw the ball came out quick they were not taking negative plays. They were not. They were. They were finding ways to get the ball out quick, and that eventually led to some intermediate type throws, and that led to some deep balls. Right? Shador had over ten something yards per attempt that game, five hundred ten yards, four touchdowns, best game of the year against TCU. They, they were. They were clicking on all cylinders. Right? And then we look at UCLA, and they actually started off fairly well. The, the ball was coming out quick. They were able to. That was the game plan. Get the ball out quick. I think they were trying to protect Shador that way. Get the ball out quick. And then you can take some deep shots. However, there were no deep shots taken in, in UCLA. And you're going to see a lot of times after the first two drives, I think they got six points the first two drives. After those first two drives, there were a lot of sacks and a lot of negative plays that led to just playing behind the yard markers. And, and that just made it to be a tough offense. Like when you're getting third and 15, it's a total different offense. You have to run something completely different scheme wise, schematically, how you're going to attack the defense. than if it's third and six, you know, that, that's your normal offense. Third and six is your normal offense. Third and 15 is not your normal offense. And they had that a lot. Uh, this game, there was just not a lot of time, right? I know one of the big errors of improvement for Shador is don't hold on the ball too long, get the ball out quick, and totally agree, absolutely. But the clips that we're showing, uh, and there were some sacks in, in the game that we didn't show, of course, uh, but the clips that we're showing, there's weren't a lot of time. I think the big takeaway is against TCU, they were able to run their offense. They were not taking negative plays. They didn't get behind the sticks. They were able to get the ball out quick, set up some deeper throws, and then the defense of TCU just didn't know how to defend it. They, they were able to do anything they wanted to do. Against UCLA, you're going to see they got pressure, and the the defenders were the, – the coverage was a lot tighter uh, than it was against TCU. Um, yeah, it, it, was, it was a big difference, right? So we're going to see some really good stuff against TCU. Then we're going to see some a good start for, for Colorado. Uh, but then we're going to see the negative plays that happen. It's just hard to overcome when you're taking uh, when, when you get those sacks. Again, a lot of these sacks weren't even on Shador. There was literally no time here. Again, that's an improvement area. I get it. Uh, and maybe I'll put another video about Shador. But I just wanted to take take a, a minute or two. And take it longer than a minute or two. Uh, but I wanted to do this video once I started diving into film. I want to say, okay, what's the difference between TCU film and UCLA film? So. Hopefully you like it. We probably got, I don't know, six, seven, eight plays from TCU, then six, seven, eight plays from UCLA, uh, dive into the film, and then um, we kind of just compare the two, right? So we'll go TCU first, then UCLA, and then we will wrap this up. But before we dive into it, this is your first time tuning into the channel. Sincerely, thank you. We're just a big quarterback hub. We talk all things quarterbacks. We have a quarterback podcast. We have guests come on, court and former quarterbacks, and talk about their experience. Uh, we cover the whole college football landscape as it relates to quarterbacks and it includes film breakdowns like this i hope you enjoy it if you do like it share subscribe all that stuff it does help but here's the film what i call a gimme completion right and i think using or, or having more of these type of plays i think can be beneficial to slow down the pass rush uh this is the opening drive and they've already had i think two kind of easy quick passes or the ball's coming out quick right just finding ways to get the ball out quick it's a completion to i think hunter right there on the uh on the the boundary side uh the trips to the top of the screen we're gonna see it's zone coverage ball's out now right when hunter turns around the ball's coming out we got up top zone some type of man scheme right here probably uh they're they're kind of defending this here this is a nice little gimme completion here right good job by sanders uh reading the ball reading the defense and getting the ball out quickly so i think more and more plays like this i think uh have the potential to to lead to more success and, and hopefully keep that yards per attempt and keep them taking those deep shots that they want to do right we saw especially in this game they had a lot of these not dink and dunks but the ball was out quick and then you saw them take shots deep so let's watch it here Ball's out now, right? They still get, what, 10 yards, right? Because the ball is out quick. So we'll, we'll keep chugging along on this TCU TCU film. The, I think, first play of the second drive, and I'm not going to do, you know, every drive, but we'll try to hit hit, hit them in some semi-order, right? So we see receiver coming in motion. It's going to be a quick out route. Ball comes out quick, catches the ball in space. I think we have just an out route and a seam on the top of the screen. So you want to watch up here. 
you have corner bales, that's what you have. That's kind of a little option route right there. The the it looks like it kind of is the uh, receiver has the option to sit or break out. You see they got inside technique, so the choice is to go that way. Sanders gets the ball out quick, but again, a short pass. Ball comes out quickly, and it's a what they breaks the tackle and gets up field for a first down, right? So uh, is that Hunter? Uh, I can't tell, but regardless, another good example. No, it's a hundred. Another good example of just getting the ball up quick, right? You don't have to ha- have to hold on the ball too long. One, two, three. Ball comes out, boom, gets a first down. The second drive, uh, we're going to see another quick pass, short pass here that leads to a, a first down, uh, and then you see Sanders' uh, mobile ability, but his ability to throw off off platform, right? A little play action here, which I think can be used really well for Colorado if you can get the run game going. Comes out, ball comes out quick. So much space there. Like, I don't know what TCU is doing going off coverage. Uh, but anytime a, a defense gives you that much space, man, you just you just take that. You just keep taking it. And what we saw later in the game, which we'll get to, they start creeping in, then they took their deep shots. Ball comes out quick there. Nice. Again, underneath type throw leads to first down. Later, and they just did, right after the first the, the play we just watched, they took that shot to Hunter where he dove in the end zone, and it was it was a drop of catch he probably wants to have. But it was an example of taking that shot deep, right? So this is another, another play. Again, underneath type throw. Quick fake on the sweep. Slight kind of partial rollout. Ball is out quick and gets the, gets the ball to the receiver in space. Little kind of window addressing. Boom. Ball's out quick. Does he break a tackle? Yeah, gets up field. Yeah. See that their, their, their skill guys are just so dangerous here, right? So again, we see some misdirection type stuff, a little fake sweep, pre-snap movement, balls out real quick. That's all you need to do, right? So I think we're kind of getting the point across here. Uh, we'll see what happens this drive, but we'll try to speed it up and, and look at some of these downfield shots. But I think the point of it is they were able to get the ball out quick. There haven't been any sacks so far, I don't believe, in, in the games we've been watching or the clips we've been watching. Let's see what happens here. Just run play. Yeah, a little run play. All right, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep, uh, keep this TCU game chugging along. Get throw we're going to watch. I'll go ahead and play it, and then we can kind of break it down. But you can start to see that then they start going from the short stuff to kind of the, the, the middle game stuff, the, 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 the mid-range stuff, right? But TCU is still, you know, they're still playing deep off coverage. They're still threatened by the deep shot here. So eventually they do start creeping up, though. But this is kind of the next level, right? So we, we saw this is a what, maybe drive three, I believe. This is the second quarter. We saw these short passes, right, uh, underneath type throws. And then we see TCU only brings three. So they're dropping eight in the cover. So Shadur actually has plenty of time. Going to see this develop right here. Hits this intermediate throw. This is probably a, what, 12 yards downfield, give or take, something like that. Hits him a little dig route here. Then he leads to, to the rest, right? So... Again, starts off with 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 the underneath throws, getting the ball out quick. TCU still doesn't want to get the big play, so they're off coverage. Look how deep that safety is, right? There's not even a deep route going. Um, but but anyways, yeah, you can see the next kind of progression. So I'll try to get out of this TCU game quick. I think we're getting the idea, but let's maybe three, four, five more clips. We'll we'll, we'll see. Let's keep chugging along with TCU though. Some deep throws, but I want to show this play, right? It's, I think it's an awesome play demonstrating his legs and demonstrating why you live with him taking some sacks because it's plays like we're about to watch uh, that he's able to do. Now, I get it. Of course, you don't want to take as many sacks and you want to find ways to get rid of the ball. This is a special play here. The TCU only brings three here. Watch him take a hit as he delivers this ball down here. Comes up field. Boom, it's a special play. Whenever we will go to the um, to this front angle, and you'll be able to see it a bit a bit better here. But it, it's plays that Shador can do like this with his legs and finding finding his open receiver. His eyes are always downfield. He wants to throw, right? So it's plays like this that you live with some of these sacks. Watch him take a hit. Boom. Ends up being a big play. Okay, now let's find at least one. Let's go Let's go at least one deep ball. Let's, let's get at least one deep ball in here. For a long throw for, for Shador. Uh, but it's a middle of the range type throw, right? It's an intermediate throw. It's just a long-ass throw uh, to the receiver doing a, a sit down or an out here, right? So another example of that now they're starting to kind of um, take that next step, hitting those mid-range throws. Pressure comes. They blitz him. They actually pick him up. Ends up being a long throw. But I believe they get a first down. Yeah, they get a first down. Let's kind of watch this angle one more time. R- really good example demonstrating his arm strength, which... I think everyone knows he has a fairly pretty strong arm. But let's watch it from this angle. Again, third and two. Yeah, second quarter. Um, actually playing kind of press here. And then they come in here off coverage. That's where the ball goes. Long throw, impressive throw. Um, and just, uh, you know, there's nine to eight seconds left, so it's not much to kind of break down as far as, like, 
the coverage and why they're here, but I just wanted to showcase this throw and, and kind of demonstrate Shador's arm here. So okay, let's find let's find a few deep balls and then uh, and then we'll get into UCLA. Here's a deep ball down here. But even the, the plays before this, again, I don't want to just keep showing some short, quick stuff. But even the plays before this was short game stuff, getting the ball out really quick that I think eventually sets this up. But at the same time, like he's still nine yards off the ball, give or take, right? But anyways, let, let's go ahead and watch this deep throw here because you can tell the safety is creeped up, right? Safety creeps up. You've got one up top safety. Ball is right there. What a hell of a throw, right? Super accurate throw. All he needs is a step. Uh, and then Shador was able to put it on on the money here, right? But but it was kind of built up to this, you know. And I, I think all the short throws, getting the ball out quick, can lead to these deep type of throws, these deep these deep shots. Maybe we'll watch one more deep ball, or we may just go on to UCLA. To you, yeah, we are going to watch one more. I think this ball's to Hunter. He's in the slot here. He's man covered. There's one up top safety, but he's creeping down, right? Like all these plays we've watched, first and ten, second and eight. You see the safety way off you see a lot of just off scheme which you see up top to the field side but boundary side we see some man and then we see the safety over to field side but it's third and 16 right now it's just crazy so they have no one deeper than we'll give them 11 yards right now anyways not the point of it uh just a little weird defensively he probably does creep back yeah he does anyways we see this it's man coverage across here one up top safety we got man right here shador sees it and you take your shot right there Ball's out, great catch, bad angle by by this uh, safety too, right? Go to the deepest man. Um, unless, you know, I don't know the defense assignment, maybe I'm wrong. But regardless, point of it, we see him take this shot here. We see the defense kind of being aware of these kind of underneath, underneath type throws. Good ball, give your best guy a chance, and that's what happens. Okay, let's move on to some UCLA and see what was different there. UCLA and we we just skipped uh, the first few plays actually it's, it was a good opening drive good run uh, and then a few good passes where they got a first down getting the ball out quick this is where they got in trouble this is a sack right here but this isn't Shador's fault someone did something wrong here right the ball I don't know if the ball maybe should come out right now um, you, you got blockers over here Shador's looking right here but obviously he came came free ends up getting sacked so something happened right um and then, you know, it, it, it kind of escalated from, from there. You look, see he's talking to someone. So we'll watch it from here. It looks like he wanted to get the ball out quick, though. And for whatever reason, the ball didn't come out, right? So don't think this one's on Shador. I think there was some miscommunication here. But then this is kind of uh, got them back behind the chain. So the short Deacon and Duncan is great, like we saw in TCU. Not Deacon and Duncan. Uh, but getting the ball out quick is great. But then once you, take, once you get a sack, it's second and 15. Third and 13. It's hard to have those short passes uh, lead you to first downs and you're behind the, the chain, right? So we'll, we'll, let's keep uh, let's keep on watching UCLA. Still, they're still driving. They're able to bounce back from that sack, right? Still driving. And then this is a good play by Shador using his legs, eyes downfield, ball's coming out right there. It's a first down. This is a great opening drive. Like if, if you didn't know how the rest of the game ended or you didn't know that they you know, weren't able to move the ball or push it downfield that much, you, you, you would expect them to be able to do this over and over again. But... Obviously, it wasn't the, the case, right? Watch one more time. Eyes downfield, use the legs by time. Ball out there. Nice play. Really good opening drive right here so far. Three, I believe, that they had a field goal, got good position in the second drive. This is a third down. You can see there's not a lot of time here. Like, there's just really nothing you can do here. He takes a shot. Ball comes out in time. Boom. It's the right read. Um, if he had a little bit more time, then maybe he's able to hit the middle of the field with this receiver coming. Or maybe he's able to hit... This open receiver right here, actually, right? If the ball comes out, uh, takes a shot again. And, and you see, you can tell UCLA's defenders, like the short stuff is good, like we talked about, but it's hard to push the ball downfield in it's third and 10, third and eight. And you can see, like, they're, they're much, their coverage is much tighter than TCU's, right? Coverage is tighter. No, I just said he was open, but it's tighter. DB breaking down, right? So it, it, their coverage is much tighter than against. Uh, against TCU, uh, which made it that much tougher for Colorado, right? Tighter coverage and pressure on Shador. Makes it tough to push the ball downfield. Boom. All right, let's keep chugging along. A few more clips of UCLA. Is this the this is the fourth drive? But even even this play here, it's a second and something. But the first play on this drive was like a five-yard loss on the, on, a, on a run play. And now, like, you can just tell this from the last video, too. Uh, the, the, the defenders are just so much tighter. The coverage is so much tighter. There's pressure, but, like, covered 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 right hard to push the ball down field with that type of coverage back on third and probably 15 or so 
so UCLA is able to kind of bring pressure where they bring five, I believe here. Let's check it out. Yeah, bring five. There's really no time for the play to develop either. And you got coverage everywhere, right? Yeah, they'll let them run that underneath stuff. Covered there, covered here, covered here. Hard to play from from behind the chain, right? So you can already tell the difference before uh, b- between UCLA and, and TCU. The pressure and then the tight coverage the DBs are having compared to, if you remember the clips against TCU, like there was a lot of a lot of openings. Um but it's, it's why when you man if, if if when you start third second and long and this is really hard when you start behind the chains. Let's see what's coming up next. Team, we're starting to uh, starting to get the hang of this right, and there's really no time. And there's a, a safety falls down uh, after he's sacked, but there's pretty good coverage and there's no time here. I think it's third and thirteen. Pressure comes. This is a great example of when you fall behind the chains, you can't run the offense to set you up. But even right here, pressure gets to him covered covered up here right like there's just nothing there's just nothing going on here um and so i mean even if he had another second or so like no, no one was getting open there uh so moral of the story here compared to tcu like you're getting behind the, the down and distance and it's just hard to overcome it you have to basically have a whole different offensive scheme uh, when it's third and long right that w- w- what works on first and ten and second and seven does not work on third and long you see like because because we could hang out but there's just no downfield passes no downfield shots when you get in these long down distances it, 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 it's hard to do that at times because uh, the defense is putting the air backs right so here's this this is the first and 10 and Shador gets a sack here almost looks like this guy jumps but they don't call it but he gets sacked and then it's become second and 18 and they have a drop pass on a screen that would have gone for nowhere and they run a and they run a uh they, they run a play on third and 18 um again this, this is not a recipe i guess they did call it right but they ucla took it uh so you can see here just a sack not a lot going on here um uh, let's see one one thousand two one thousand yeah just not a lot of time there right but but the screen they ran the second play coming up like that's a good option to run on, on a first down potentially right like like those are plays you want to run but when it's second and 18 I said 18. They were in second 18. It's just hard to have a big playbook when it's third and 15. Hard to have a big playbook, right? So, uh, with that said, I think the biggest area, and we didn't show a ton of clips of of Sanders like like actually um, holding on the ball too long, at least against UCLA. Like a lot of these clips, like they, he literally had no time, right? But you just have to find an area. You have to find a way to just get the ball out quick. Like like if he took a shot even on that screenplay, right? You just have to find a, a way to get the ball out quick and not get so behind like not get third and 18 you have to find find ways when the offense is able to stay on track even against ucla the first drive or two they, they actually moved the ball pretty good the ball was out quick they did not get third and longs but once you start getting third and long it, it's just tough it's a whole new offense right so again big difference between ucla and tcu all right so we saw the success against tcu right they get the ball out quick. They did it often. Even the second half, I didn't show much of the plays in the second half as far as the ball coming out quick, but they were still doing that. They were able to run their offense the entire time then take shots deep. Then we saw the UCLA clips, and they just weren't able to do that. They, they The first series they did, but then whether it was false starts, whether it was missed assignments, whether uh, it was missed blocks, whatever was going on, you saw some just miscommunication, whatever was going on, it was becoming second, 15, third, and 18, and then Shador is getting sacked, and it's just hard to over overcome that, right? So I'll just just a big difference, and then you can kind of tell like Colorado couldn't run their offense when they're behind the down distance by that by that much, and they were actually still in the game against UCLA. Uh, but yeah, just just a quick example comparing the two offenses. But I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Shador? What are the next steps for him to to take in his development? Maybe we'll do a, a big film breakdown and look up more clips and kind of talk about the wow factors with his legs and his arm and his anticipation and touch. Like, I, I think that's amazing. And we'll probably do that, but I just want to do something a little bit different in this film breakdown look at the, the good TCU and then the, the game against UCLA. I think against UCLA, it was the, the, the yards per attempt like five or less than five. Right. And you saw why, because the pressure and the cover was so tight. Uh, yeah. Per, pretty drastic difference uh, on the offenses, especially once that snowball effect happened, it was hard to kind of kind of break that that cycle. But uh, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. It really does help. We'll have more quarterback content coming out throughout the week, and and you know we try to be pretty consistent uh, on a weekly basis putting out quarterback content. So like, share, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. It does help. We'll put out a more traditional Shador uh, film breakdown down the road at some point. So with that said, we'll see you next time.